Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 111 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to talk about a little known function in Lightroom called Lock Zoom Position. Now, often when I'm working in Lightroom, I like to compare one image to another. Most often, it's because I have a bunch of very similar shots and I'm comparing to see which one is sharper. That's the one I'm going to process. So I might have 10 shots. I had my camera on a tripod. I fired off 10 shots. And I'm just looking to see which one's the sharpest. So I'll often zoom in and look at, in this case, maybe the bird's feathers to see, you know, which one's just better than the others. Another time I like to zoom in is I'm just looking to see the noise, how much noise is in the image. And in this case, I have an image that had a lot of noise, and I sent it to an external program to reduce the noise and when that image comes back from the program I often like to zoom in to the image and make sure that that external program didn't soften it too much because as you know know when you get rid of noise quite often you're softening the image a little bit and what I did here is I have this original image so I'll zoom in and I'll look at the original one and there's a lot of noise and then I just simply like to click on this second image and see how it got rid of the noise and make sure it didn't soften the image that much. But unfortunately, what often happens is it's in a totally different position. And I'd have to drag it to try to compare it pixel to pixel. I want to compare similar pixels. Maybe I want to compare the eye. You're checking sharpness and you're comparing maybe the sharpness at the eye of your subject. And you, this is really annoying if you have 10 shots. So you're going across each one and they're all in different positions and it's just, you know, clumsy and it slows you up. There's a couple things you could do to help this along. What you could do is you could go into compare mode and what to go into compare mode, what you would do is select all the images in your film strip. In this case, I have two. So I'm going to click on one and hold the command key in and click on the second one. If you have a PC, of course, you'd hit the control key. Then you'd simply hit the C key on your keyboard, C for compare. And you'll go into compare view and you'll have one image and a second image. And when you zoom in by clicking on either of them, you'll zoom into the exact same spot. This works great if you have two images. But if you have more than two, it's only going to compare two at any one time. So that really isn't as efficient if you have 10 images. You'd have to then click through the other eight images and it will replace one of them with that next one. The problem still with this, in my opinion, is you're in the develop module and you're working along. You select all those images, you hit the C key on your keyboard, it takes you over to the library module. When you're done, you have to hit the C key to get out of this mode. Then you have to go back over the develop module and then click on the image that you're going to be working on and continue your work. There's, If you're just in a hurry, I think there's a faster, more efficient way to do this. And what you need to do is just go up to the top view menu and go down to lock zoom position. Now when you zoom in, and then you click on any subsequent image in your film strip, it'll be in the same exact position. So you could very quickly go through these images, check either, again, the two reasons I zoom in is to check sharpness or and or to check noise. You could zoom in, go through all the images very quickly, and you'll be zoomed in to the same exact spot on each image. And I find this works great for me. I never left the develop module and it doesn't slow me up, it disrupt my workflow. And, and it just, for me, works much better. Hopefully that works for you. If you found this zoom thing to be annoying, that you'd be in different spots in the image. So that's it for episode 111. I hope that helps you work a little more efficiently in Lightroom. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos and thank everyone that has made donations or used my affiliate links or have become my Patreon. It's because of you 
that I'm able to do these free videos. If you guys would like to help me out and help me improve these videos, if you look in the top right hand corner of this video, you'll see the letter I. Click on that letter I and you'll get info on how you could help me. Also in the description below the video, there'll be a link that will bring you to my website that uh, explains all different ways you could help and there's many ways that won't cost you any money at all. So thank you again, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.